This president has radicalized so many more people than ISIS ever did. What? Uh, <laughs> what does she have to gain by lying? I present to you Exhibit A. Question of the day. To a... lead this off, right now it's simple. Media is blaming Trump for dividing the country. We see this all the time. Whereas most conservatives, uh, and of course the President Donald Trump, thinks the yeah. media is largely responsible. Not entirely responsible, but largely responsible. Your thoughts. And by the way, is political division necessarily a bad thing? Um, let's... But, I'm okay with calling someone evil if they falsely accuse you of gang rape. Let's yeah. start with that. Right now, we start talking about this, people going, oh, how can you call your political opposition evil? Hold on a second. Think about this really quickly before we get to the clips. If someone walks into your place of work right now and says, he's a gang rapist, or she's a gang rapist with zero evidence, and a bunch of other people with zero evidence actually don't corroborate it. You're like, hey, they're gonna corroborate it. Like, actually, we weren't there. No. But what would you say? <laughs> would you, man, that's an evil thing to do. Then your boss says, oh, listen, they might have been out of line with the gang rape accusations. <laughs> but evil? Okay, so let's set this up. This is how the media has been presenting it. Here we go. This is his rhetoric that has created this moment in time, and to ignore that is to ignore a huge component of what's going on here. What? But, hmm. but, uh, okay, uh, we don't necessarily, <laughs> just let's go to Trump's response, which I love. The media also has a responsibility to what? set a civil tone and to stop the endless hostility and constant negative and oftentimes false attacks and stories. Have to do it. I love it. I have to do it. <laughs> yes, he goes off the last second. part. <laughs> and oftentimes false attacks have to do it. You got to do it, gotta right, folks? You got to do it. <laughs> and now back to Propter. <laughs> you got to do it. In his mind, he's like, Nailed it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and every time one of those stories comes up, it's always this smug, elitist, like Trump is the yeah. worst person on the planet. He obviously caused all this. this is a, it's not tr true. Trump divided the country? Hold, hold on a second. Black Lives Matter? Occupy Wall Street? Baltimore? You know this stuff well, right? The whole point is Trump is the one who divided this country initially. Remember, I talked about, we got into so much trouble on this program because we switched the Obama Hope poster and it said bitch and it was a picture of Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah. And the That's point right, that yeah. I made was you're going to see the night, you are going to see almost to the day and certainly election night, where everyone who was racist, who didn't vote for Obama, yeah. is going to become a sexist. Now yeah. we're just all of the things, and you can tack on transphobe yeah. to the list. But you're going to say that President Donald Trump is the one who divided the country? Uh. Hey, gang rapist! Hey, you're evil, man! Can you believe this guy? The nerve! What's more divisive, smearing someone, and by proxy, all of their political ilk? Or pointing out the smearing. So let's go through the top five false smears of Trump uh, just from the last few weeks. All right, here's a, obviously the latest one that Trump, this is the media's room, they've run with this. Uh, they've they've, they've, they've not stopped running with it. I sound higher than never right now. Because of a, <laughs> that Trump is to blame for the uh, synagogue shooting. Here you go. Day 648 of the Trump administration, as the nation has now witnessed in the space of just days, two acts of domestic terrorism, the second vastly darker than the first. The White House is now consumed by its effort to defend itself from those who see the link between the president's words and what we've witnessed. Yes, you can find his anti-Jewish rhetoric right next to your rocket fire, Brian Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Frickin' asymmetrical genetic anomaly. <laughs> And by the way, in case you were wondering, the guy who shot at the synagogue thought Donald Trump was a secret Jew. So they just try to say, right, here's what they do. They just say, wow. they say, right, they say, Nazis hated Jews. Nazis, social, uh, get rid of socialists, they're right wing. Therefore, anyone who doesn't like Jews, right wing, Donald Trump, responsible for the, no! Donald Trump has been a huge supporter of Israel, which is actually a huge reason that the left doesn't like him, as well as the very small minority of vocal racists in this country. Don't believe me? Listen to him yourself. The Jews have endured terrible persecution, and you know that. We've all read it, we've studied it, they've gone through a lot. And those I love this seeking question. their yeah. destruction, we will seek there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's anti-Semitic. Nailed it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> seeking that we will seek. All right, Donald, you're, you're landing this plane there. Destruction. <laughs> Pause for effect. And in his head, he's going. The point is, how do you, how do you blame Donald Trump? The, the last thing you can no. say about Donald Trump is that he's an anti-Semite. No, of yeah. course Have not. Have you met his son-in-law? <laughs> yeah. These are the same people yeah. who are like, Donald Trump's giving too much power to Kushner. And, oh, okay, okay I go. Also, he hates Jews. All right, Wait. let's move on to the next uh, myth that comes to us from uh, MSNBC, uh, that he's a t terror sympathizer. Listen all. 
This has always been a problem with this president. He has always shown a sympathy or a dismissiveness towards terrorism. What? Uh, he what? is a he is a, a terrorist sympathizer. Let me just oh, say things. I've never heard that. Good God. Donald Trump likes terrorists. <laughs> also, Kevin Spacey <laughs> likes women. Oh, uh, now I know not yeah. to listen to you. Uh, actually, by the way, if we're going to talk about actual terrorism, Trump has a much better record than Obama. And he, certainly the rhetoric, which people have talked about yeah, as yeah. being, right, remember the, the, the travel ban? Yeah. They just had like, listen, many Muslims are great American loving patriots, but the terrorists are the ones I hate. Oh, really? Now we're just, we're anti-terrorist? <laughs> Barack Obama traded terror. He he was he was like tra like there were baseball trading cards. Terrorists for traders. Oh gosh. By the way, hit the there. notification bell if you're subscribed. It doesn't mean a whole lot on YouTube. And uh, of course, join Mug Club if you want to watch the Daily Show. For people who are not already Ooh. subscribed to Mug Club, uh, you get seven day free trial. It's what allows us to keep uh, going on with the uh, the free content. You had something you looked you were about to say oh, there, Nimmer. Oh, I was just gonna point out how great that black man was lit. Like maybe CNN <laughs> doesn't do everything wrong. He yeah, looked great. Oh, he looked yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, see what you're but, doing there. But yeah. you know what? He didn't look as dramatic as you. You're like Ooh, the, the you're like uh, a, a Sergio Leone film. And and no. he also didn't dress in all black. Maybe you that's should also, take some that's cues. Also maybe true. we maybe Thanks we both true. have some distance to also, cover. Also, also maybe you shouldn't have so much melanin in your skin. Let's be honest. He was <laughs> a, a shade, just a scotch lighter than you. I'm not even going to feel bad when I rob all of you later. <laughs> no, no regrets. Who's perpetuating stereotypes right, now, sir? Top smear number three. <laughs> I can't find my bike. Uh, from CNN. <laughs> this is just, you know what? This is just the myth number three. He, he, of course, you know, the recent uh, the get her done uh, alarm clock bomber. Yeah. Just roll the clip. This is something they are going to embrace. This is a strategy they are going to move forward with, even in the face oh, of Cup. literal <laughs> bombs sent to the news media and uh, Democrats. Like, do you think the naughty librarian look still works because I'm 55? <laughs> no, not no, right no. now. I'm just saying you're about to hit that. I used to, like, like SE Cup, I used to spend time with her, but I, when I tuned into CNN, it's like, hey, SE Cup, you will only be employed here if you do nothing but bash Trump. Got it? So long as the check clears. <laughs> um, exactly. And let's be clear about this. Time. Don't take our, Don't take our word for it. This is where LeVar Burton, right? You know LeVar Burton. You know, he would say, take take the word take the yeah. word of a six-year-old kid's for it. And they'd be like, I like the book. I'm reading Rainbow. But LeVar, why didn't you just articulate this? But don't take our word for it. Trump's actual words on the bomber. These terrorizing acts are despicable and have no place in our country. No place. I've instructed no place, authorities to spare no resource or expense in finding those responsible and bringing them to swift and certain justice. And we will prosecute them, him, her, whoever it may be, to the fullest extent of the law. It seems pretty cut and dry. We know it. We know it's true, folks. We know it's true. I got to get back to my speech. But you know it, right? We all know it. Right? He that went was off good. prompter. I went off book. I'm like, I'm like Vince Vaughn. Hey, baby, over here, right? <laughs> ah, a fast-talking wheeler and dealer. Not exactly, but I, 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 there's something refreshing about uh, just his response here. He was like, basically, that was a presidential way of saying, you're a piece of <laughs> Top uh, smear number two. This is, this is actually a con congressperson on CNN. Oh, boy. Uh, again, we're back. back he's, he's the anti-Semite responsible yeah. for the synagogue shooting, but his son-in-law may have ordered the murder of Washington Post journalists. How do we print is it? Is it... Kasuhogi? Ah, Shogui. No, you're not. Oh, we're going to hear it in the next clip. <laughs> we're going to hear it in the next clip. The reporting that Jared Kushner a weird -looking may face. have with U.S. intelligence delivered a hit list, an enemies wow. list, He's a to the crown one. prince, to MBS in Saudi Arabia, and that the prince then may have acted on that, and one of the what? people that he took action against uh, is Mr. Kasoji. Oh, so close, Kasoji. Uh, here's the thing. There's actually no evidence of the Kushner hit list, the conspiracy theory. Like you, was it a false flag? That's I didn't why say that. Right lead in. Uh, and the, here's the thing. After some initial trepidation regarding the blaming of Saudi Arabia, and I, I, I talked about that was not through. I'm not a fan of Saudi Arabia in any right. capacity. Yeah. Yeah. All right? I have a problem when you make women dress like ninjas or, you know, they're not allowed to, I don't know if they're allowed to drive now. I don't know the exact rules. It's changing bit. all the time. They're not, you know, they're definitely not allowed to use a passing lane. I know that. Uh, <laughs> after waiting, Trump was pretty harsh on the Saudis. Here you go. It was carried out poorly, and the cover-up was one of the worst in the history of cover-ups. It's very simple. Bad deal. <laughs> could have never been thought of. I love how they deal. said, just say, terrible cover-up. That's it, President Trump's yeah. advisor. He's like, 
got it. Like, just trust me. You say that, that'll be enough. To it. Absolutely. I will stop. Bad deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I got to say it. it. I, I wouldn't it. have made that deal. <laughs> Frankly, they would have said, this guy is not going to make that deal. Yeah. And I wouldn't. <laughs> Nailed it. No. Um, all right, number one. Can, uh, number one. I don't even want a second. Number one smear against President Donald yeah. Trump, and this all ties into this I, again. The idea that we're divided, and people sometimes act as though us doing a change my mind, or us, frankly, just crashing something, just crashing a show. Uh, to screw it up because people are out there indoctrinating children to act as though that's the same as the kind of political d d division that's occurring on mainstream media, everything. I don't agree with it. I, I just don't agree with it. If you, if, just watch what the CNN panelist has to say, number one. This president has radicalized so many more people than ISIS ever did. What? Uh, <laughs> Was she talking about the get her done flags and confused it with the bombs? <laughs> This president has radicalized more people than ISIS. Nimmer, can you confirm? That, that like, how many people have been, like, MAGA and beheadings? Yeah. Like, I just want to know, like, how many oh, of those... Allahu MAGA! <laughs> an electric, electric turkey oh. carver. I just want to make sure you all know this is to make America great again. <laughs> right, sorry about this. There were no witnesses. <laughs> Only three. Not enough. Not, oh. um, nice. No evidence, of course, at all. Synagogue shooter hated Trump, thought that he was a secret Jew. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be really clear. This because this was said in context about that she was saying yeah. he's radicalized more people than ISIS. No. 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 She, she obviously has never met ISIS. Right? She has never done any research on what ISIS does. Come on. Right. You can't even make that claim with a straight face. Well, she did I try to walk it back. They gave her a chance to on the panel a little bit later on, but she did a poor job. Yeah, I don't back. care if they give you she a chance. She reasserted her point. Yeah, exactly. She reasserted her point by walking. Again, yeah. go go watch the clip in its, in its entirety. Watch the take the context for some. By, by the way, by that logic, of course, Bernie Sanders has incited people too. Remember, but I don't know if you remember this. I think it was we have the clip, right? Yep. Yeah. Pelosi's response when people suggested that Bernie Sanders radicalized. By the way, I want to make sure that you understand here. I agree with Pelosi here. Yeah. I think she's Ew. weird and creepy, <laughs> but I agree with her when people suggested that Bernie radicalized a Scalise shooter. How dare they say such a thing? How dare they for them to all of a sudden be sanctimonious as if they don't never seen such a thing before? You, you know what, though? Right. With you, Nancy Pelosi, everyone has the right to be sanctimonious. Like, that's the thing. It's like, <laughs> how dare you get sanctimonious? Usually I'm not a sanctimonious guy. But you're Nancy Pelosi, so you bring I'll, it out. I'll take that liberty right now. You were denied communion. Ooh. And your face is removable. I don't know. I, I, I like <laughs> sanctimonious is only the position to be taken when discussing something with Nancy Pelosi. Uh, here's one thing too. I, Trump, Trump is absolutely hard in the media. Okay. Yeah, of in course. Conc in conclusion, and I'm getting very near the end of this now. Name that movie line. Like comment below. Uh, does he ever accuse him of murder though? No. The media or of being terrorists? Or should I say, I shouldn't even say ever. Does he consistently accuse them of murder or family members of murder or of being terrorists or of radicalizing more people than ISIS? Again, someone calls you, when he said they were evil, yeah. he was talking about the media who came forward and said that Kavanaugh needed to step down because someone came forward with no who, what, where, when, why, accusing a man of being a gang rapist, and all the people who said, we know this isn't true, were accused themselves of being evil. And he said, oh, look, there's no evidence. Evil stuff. Evil stuff, folks. That's as bad as the actual possibly false accusation. And I, you know what? False accusations of rape. Let's just say that. Yeah. Where's Christine Ford? Aside from the GoFundMe that's now what? Accrued, is it is it a million dollars? $800,000? Oh, pretty pretty close. Close. What does she have to gain by lying? I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> and B and C and D and eh, there's about uh, a million exhibits. So yeah, listen, there have been acts of violence <laughs> committed on both sides. I think we would agree about that. Charlottesville, terrible. Sorry. Uh, alarm Sorry. clock get her you done. You apologize to him as though he was there. Alarm clock. Get but here's the thing, Charlottesville. Everyone was mocking Charlottesville. Yeah. Before it even happened, you had, pe you had people who would be considered alt-right mocking it, and people who aren't even considered alt-right. Myself and like friend Owen Benjamin, like, this is ridiculous. There's people with Walgreens tiki torches. This is absurd. <laughs> of course, they don't. There was like 20 people. It was terrible, though. So you have that example, and you have uh, a a alarm clock packages. That's about that's about it. Mass violence as a movement is exclusive to the left. When was the last? Let me ask you this. When was the last conservative Baltimore? When was the last right-wing Portland Antifa pulling people out of cars and punching them in the face? When was the last time you had conservatives knocking people out at airports en masse because of hashtag fight for 15? Right? What? Hold on a second. Someone doesn't need me for a filet of fish. Are they going to automate it? Oh, I'm going to go punch an old lady at the carry-on. It's a carousel. This is what happens. Black Lives Matter offing cops. Remember the Dallas shooting? 
That's more than all right-wing extremists combined recently. Any, anything comparable. When was the last version? You know what, let's even scale it back from that. Tea parties back then, and I know a lot of you weren't around at this point, tea parties protesting taxes from Barack Obama would actually leave public parks cleaner than they found it, occupy Wall Street. They were throwing AIDS-ridden towels on a, on, 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 by the way, fellow protesters' tents. Black Lives Matter, Baltimore, anything comparable en masse as an actual movement coming from the right. Okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. Bring it, comment. I'll wait, you evil bastards. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, you first off should probably seek counseling, but you should subscribe or hit the notification bell or watch one of these videos that's playing. The truth is, I don't know what any of that means anymore. If you try and subscribe or hit the notification bell, you won't be notified, and if you try and click one of these videos, it's just going to take you to BuzzFeed Boldly Fat Broads as they get carried out of their houses where they had to break down the North Wall and they get carried out in a land whale tarp. I don't know what's happening on YouTube. I know what's happening with Mug Club, lotteryworthcredit.com slash Mug Club. You get to watch the daily show one hour every single day, not just clips, along with like 15 other shows for $69 annually if you're a student and, or, or, or veteran or military, and you get to keep us here on YouTube for free because we can, we can irritate them by your support. It's worth it, right?